So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to R2 Modman, Thunderstore.io website. This is the mod manager where you'll be managing everything. It makes it a lot easier. Just do manual download. Once you do that, it will show up in your downloads. So I got a bunch of other stuff in my downloads right now, but those are just a bunch of mods and stuff. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be a zip file. All we're going to do is just drag it out onto the desktop and extract here. I already have it extracted, so. but once it is, it's going to be this. You're going to get all this stuff. App image is like the important one, this is what you're going to execute to run the application. So just do this. Alright, so we're, we're inside of it. What you're going to do back here is just like find the game. I already had it selected and it's like the default so it just always, you know, goes on it. It's going to be Steam of course. Then profile is just different mod profiles, different types of loadouts essentially for your mods. So select your profile and you're not going to have anything on here. It's going to be empty. So you go to the online and this is the first thing you want to download. Beep, bep in EX pack. You also want to get another one called Crew Boom. This will allow you to add like more characters and stuff to the game. Slop Crew. This is the multiplayer. And yes, it is as seamless as it looks like right now. You just download it all from here. And it will instantly apply in your installed folder. Probably Drip Remix too. What you want to do before we do anything else is just start it up modded so it, you know, it gets used to it. It's 
it's going to take a bit. It's going to find it automatically in the Steam files. And yeah, the game is on and working. All you really have to do is, I mean, you can go into the game and test if the things are working right now, but for now, I'm just gonna... So yeah, with that out of the way, we can start doing some other stuff, like adding mods from the internet. And I will show you how to find the folders to add those mods. So we're on Game Banana right now. This is like the number one place to get your mods for this game. There's other places, but most of you will probably only use this site. So, I just look up Bomb Rush, find some random mobs, go on it, click on the Bomb Rush Cyberfunk section. Now we're here. So, new mods posted every day, new cool stuff. Mostly just character mods. So... Let's go find a super popular one. Here we go. Most downloaded. And here we go. Sonic 06 mod pack. So this is a good example to use because it comes with uh, multiple different packs. But it's going to say you need these. I'm going to be real with you right now. I cannot figure out how to get Drip Remix working correctly. I don't know if it's a Steam Deck specific issue or I'm doing something wrong. It doesn't really bother me. It's mostly just the instant swap outs, but you can still change the characters at the dance pads. So this is... The Sonic character, just do a manual download. It will take you to like another page, just manual download it again until it pops up in your download side. Once you've done that, it's going to be a zip file. So here we go. Right here, extract. Oops, I did add that. Extract. And you will see this file, this weird looking file. Where do we put that file? Well, I'll show you how to find the location. So we're going to go back to our 2 mod man. All right. So this is the config ed editor. It gets pretty in depth with settings, but we're going. with these to find the location so this is the profile folder most of the main stuff main mods we'll be putting in will be in here it's going to be in config and here we go these are mods that were automatically added that I got from the R2 mod manager this is where you're going to put like characters and stuff and notice the endings of the mods. All the files will most certainly have these endings. This PNG isn't supposed to be in there. Don't don't worry about that right now. But um, yeah, these are the characters. Most of them will have two files that go with them. Some might not though, like the Sonic and Shadow. But yeah, you just. You get that, and you just drag it right in here. Simple enough. You just, this is where you put your character mods. When you download character mods, just they'll look like these. With that out of the way, we're gonna figure out how to run this on Steam now. So open the Steam. And 
can go to like this. Add a game. Add a non-Steam game. We're going to do browse. And if it was easy, if you just put it on your desktop, it should be easy to find. Okay. And remember, app image. I already have it, so I don't need to add it. But yes, click that and then open with that. And then add selected programs. You will click that and it will be a program. You could uh, favorite it or whatever. But here is a really crucial part that a lot of people don't get right. This is this is all right here launch options type this in yours should look like this on R2 Modman the application you just added to Steam open it up launch options make sure you type that in no spaces dash dash no dash sandbox that is all a lot of people mess this up this is what is gonna make it work on the full screen mode so you can play it on full screen because modded bomb rush is gonna be opened with this you can still play your regular version but modded version will be open with this and it's basically it's the same thing as opening up you know this you're gonna get in the whatever whatever see your mods you can also install some mods like from the full screen mode just by looking sort it by download count I'll tell you right now wall plant map station well, you'll get map station automatically when you get any maps, but there's a lot of cool Sonic maps. Emerald Coast, yeah, that one. Movement Plus and other movement mods can be cool, but that's not the experience I want right now. And yeah, when you're on the full screen mode, it will look like this. You could turn some off, turn some on, manage the order right here. I don't think the order matters a whole lot with this game it might though and yeah just start modded when you're on full screen it won't let you use the cursor uh, the haptic pad so you'll probably just be using your finger to touch screen it but after that it's regular controller and it's like the game it's it's the exact uh, it's a real working game with a controller so yeah and uh, that's pretty much it if you got any questions or concerns let me know I spent a lot of hours the other day trying to figure this out because I couldn't find a really I don't think there's any videos for Steam Deck right now actually but this works a hundred percent again if you need help let me know and uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a good day.